What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, today I'm down on the floor because I'm going to be doing a video showing you how to charge up. Uh, maybe you got an old digital camera or an old cell phone or something like that that, uh, that can be charged via USB. Um, this is a common scenario. Uh, people lose their, their power adapter or, or maybe you dig up an old phone and it's got some, some pictures on it. <clears throat> this particular phone was my wife's before we got married. It's got some pictures of, of her kids um, several years ago. Uh, the battery's dead in it, and we don't have the power adapter to charge it up. So we want to be able to get the pictures off of this, uh, the internal memory. Uh, we also don't have a USB cable to connect it to the computer. So that's a different problem for a different day. But I'm going to show you today how to charge up this battery without using um, the power adapter from the factory. And um, <clears throat> and this would also work with uh, you know a cell phone battery or anything like that that uh, can be charged with a standard five volt USB cable like this. Um, so you can to start with you can use any any USB cable that you've got from from pretty much any any device. Um, and what we're going to do I've already kind of done it here on this cable is we're going to chop chop the head off of it <clears throat> and there's going to be four wires inside there's going to be a red which is obviously the positive a black which is negative and a white and a green which we don't care about those are for data these two are for power these other two are for the data we only care about the power so obviously we want the the normal USB connector to connect it into a computer or in this case into this uh, 120 volt uh, AC adapter so that we can uh, plug this in. Now these are, are getting power now um, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug this make sure it's unplugged. The way that you do this uh, the other next thing that we're going to need is two rubber bands. Um, you want them to, to, to be thick because we're actually going to poke a small hole in the middle of them so the thin ones won't work because they'll just fall apart. <laughs> So take yourself some sort of a sharp object and I've already poked holes in here and okay. So basically you just want to poke a hole in it because we're going to feed these wires through the rubber band and the rubber band's going to hold it into place. So poke a hole and then poke a hole in both of them. And then we're going to take the battery and you're going to see, you may not be able to see very well on this video, but there's going to clearly be labeled a positive, which corresponds to that um, exposed copper piece right there, and then the negative, which is the one on the side. The one in the middle, we don't care about. We only care about these two, positive and negative. So, um, and basically, the red's going to go on the positive side and the black's going to go on the negative side. Okay, so I just went ahead and put the battery in backwards into the camera so it would hold still for me. Um, but as you can see, I've got the black wire is poked through the uh, rubber band for the negative side and the red wire is poked through the rubber band on the positive side. Just like that. And now... <clears throat> It's kind of tricky to do, and again, you're not you're not ever going to want to do this on a regular basis. This is just kind of a one-time emergency use thing, just so um, maybe you can grab a couple pictures off of an old dead cell phone or you know whatever the case may be without having to ship a new cord out. Um, our scenario, we were another scenario we used this on. We were actually on vacation one time, and my wife forgot her car charger or her uh, cell phone charger at a relative's house and uh, we weren't going to be home for three or four more days on the trip so we we rigged something like this up just so we could limp her through the rest of the trip and and then we had another charger when we got home so um, anyway so now we can go ahead and plug this in <clears throat> okay so the way that you know that this is working um, in your case you may not but in my case I have this kilowatt meter which I can plug in and I can tell that this thing is using some 
uh, right now it's fluctuating between about three and seven watts and that's that's good that means that it's it's charging it's not supposed to sit at a a constant voltage forever so um, you're gonna have to play around with it a little bit these rubber bands are not perfect uh, they don't hold the um, you, you might be able to think up a better idea of, to keep the uh, um, the wires in contact with the uh, copper leads but uh, let's see I lost just lost connection anyway um, if you can get it uh, to, to sit right you gotta leave it still don't bump it uh, anyway not the greatest solution ever but it, it can get you through in a pinch and it's basically free all you gotta do is hack up one of your uh, USB cords and uh, there you have it thanks for watching guys